We finally did this. I can't believe it. I love you so much. I love you too, Jill. Sure, we're Mr. and Mrs. Lyons now. Oh, I like the sound of that. So do I, Jill. So do I. You've been going around all week with that grin on your face. I have a very good reason to be, Rob. Oh, is that so? I'm pregnant. Sorry? I'm you're, pregnant. You're pregnant? Yeah. We're going to have a baby. We're going to have a little snapper, a little, little me running around the place. <laughs> yeah. Class! <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake, is that child still crying? It's non-stop, all the time, and you won't lay down. I'm sick of it, oh, and I don't know what to do. Shut up moaning all the time, will you? All you do is mope around lately, feeling fucking sorry for yourself. You're his mother, for God's sake. And what the fuck do you do? You never have ever offered support. I can't do this by myself. Oh, Jennifer, fuck off. I'm sick of this shit. Rob. Rob, are you taking your son to the game? What are you yelling for? The game. You promised Dylan that you'd take him. I can't do it today. I have that thing I told you about. I'm busy. What thing? He's your son and you never spend time with him anymore. Yeah, well, I haven't got the time today. I'll have to make it up to him next week or something. I'm sorry. I'll have to go. Will you put a bit of effort into finding a job? Like, how do you expect us to manage? I'm fucking trying, Jill. There's no jobs out there. You have to know somebody these days to get into a job. Nobody's hiring anywhere. And how do you know this? From sitting on your arse all day? You watch your poxy mouth. What would you know? Jill, please, for the last time, I'm not having an affair. I wouldn't do that to you. And what do you expect me to think? You're never here anymore, and it's not as if you have a job to go to. Jesus Christ, it's fucking constant with you, isn't it? Why the fuck would I stay here when you wreck my head all the time? I'm fed up with this shit. Constant allegations with stuff that I'm not even doing. That's because you're never here. What do you expect me to think? We're never a family when you're around. Why do you not want to be here? Like, why don't you want to spend time with us? Oh, just stop, please, just stop this fucking shit all the time. You're paranoid, okay? Deal with it, and you need to quit, because I can't stick this for much longer, or I'm out of here if you don't stop this shit. Now, today. I was right, wasn't I? All this time, I knew that there was someone else. I knew something was up. Oh, bravo, Jill. You figured it all out, haven't you? Well done. Don't you fucking dare patronise me. This is our life, you inconsiderate... <sighs> so are you just gonna leave and that's it? Listen, Jill, things haven't been right for some time now, alright? And this is why it's not working. I've been driven to this, and I'm sorry, but this is just how it's gonna have to be. You never even tried to make this work. You gave up on us. On your son, even. It hasn't even bothered you in the slightest. Look what you've done to us. 